All things found here may be true, false, real, imagined, a mixture of the two, or completely fucking irrelevant. You figure it out. What you hear may cause you to laugh hysterically, hate the individual delivering the content, trigger you, or any other slew of emotions. Join Shane as he tears through all the shit that pissed him off this week in Shane's rants. Viewer discretion is advised. Oh man, where to begin this week? Well, if you're living under a rock and aren't aware, the transfer of power from Barack Obama to Donald J. Trump will commence on January 20th. All varieties of leftists are panicking as the fascist state is about to take over. Whittle do these economic illiterates and non-students of history know fascism has been here for longer than the majority of them have even been alive. Many patriots and alt-riders alike are pleased and ready for this takeover to happen. He's going to drain the swamp and make America great again, exclaim millions of naive individuals that really should know better. And plus, he's better than that criminal cunt Hillary Clinton. Although, they are also worried about a potential coup propagated by the leftists and the communists within the establishment. So much so that Mike Adams put out a video titled 10,000 Men with Guns to Prevent Coup on Inauguration Day Plus Protect Trump. Uh, do I even have to tell you that's a bad idea? I think the law of unintended consequences may come into play here if people actually do decide to proceed with that ridiculous idea. In that same video by Adams, he pleads for the police and military to do their jobs. So, in conclusion, uh, number one, I want to say, if you're listening to this and you're a member of the U.S. Marines or a member of the National Guard or a member of the D.C. police law enforcement, I want you to know that you have our support, that we, the people, want you to do your jobs. We want you to protect the new president. We want you to maintain order. And more importantly, we support you getting aggressive in doing your jobs. In other words, Arrest those people. Don't back down. Don't be, don't turn into cowards like you've had to do under Obama. Stand your ground. Arrest, arrest the, uh, the, the coup attempt people. If they're causing trouble, you know, throw handcuffs on them. Or if they start violence, stop the violence using whatever force is legally available to you. You jackass! It's easy to see that he didn't think this through, as the cops would certainly arrest those even there to protect Trump if they went armed. That, or he's just continuing to fulfill his role as a disinformation artist devoid of anything actionable to drive forward the cause of freedom. The bikers for Trump are also fearful and plan to do something similar. It's evident that the paranoia is rampant among both sides. The divide and conquer is working splendidly. That said, Trump's first action when he takes office will be the prison time he promised Mrs. Clinton while campaigning. LOL, just fucking kidding. Rather, it'll likely be the repeal and replace of the Unaffordable Care Act, which has already taken place, with the Senate voting 51 to 48 in favor of it. There is no replacement for it at this time, but rest assured the central planners that know better how to run your life than you do are on the move in the District of Criminals. Next stop, Trump Care. If that doesn't sound scary as fuck, I don't know what does. Immigrants and Muslims not included. The way I see it, there are two positives that stem from this election cycle. First off, my Facebook friends list is shrinking as these fascist and anarchist clothing expose themselves. There's obviously the popular throw leftists out of helicopters trend, but this sheer lunacy is ever progressing. Especially in regards to the closed borders position, I believe a lot of those arguments to be particularly fallacious attempts to justify status means to achieve anarchist ends. Secondly, well I don't know, to remain optimistic, maybe this election cycle will lead to more cancelled voter registrations? In a more humorous light, something often touted about Trump is the fact that he is a businessman which will allow him to run the economy more efficiently and negotiate better deals with foreign leaders. Well, I hate to tell you, Mr. Trump, having negotiation skills in business is completely fucking different than with other countries. First off, in business, you're negotiating with what is yours. With government, you're negotiating with what is stolen, as well as with the lives of Americans. Having experience in business also doesn't make you more qualified to centrally plan an economy, let alone a nation. Businesses operate using economic calculation, whereas governments operate via the threat of and use of force and endless red tape. Trump will inevitably be just another establishment puppet. His already debunked mercantilist economic positions clearly show his opposition to the free market. He is clearly anti-free speech too. He once said that he's going to open up libel laws so he can sue the press when they say bad things about him. Not to mention his anti-encryption pick for Attorney General Jeff Sessions. Sorry bud, but it's douchebags like you that make encryption that much more necessary. Trump also wants to strengthen the military, which is necessarily followed by him being another relentless neocon. War is the health of the state, after all, and just another mass fucking murder in the making. But you already know all of this. The next four years will be interesting, and I'd like to formally welcome back the anti-war left. War is only murder when it's not your guy doing it. On a more positive note, I know I'm getting sick of seeing Mr. Trump's goofy-ass fucking hairdo, and I'm sure some of you are too. It may seem like a problem without a solution. 
but that's where you're wrong. I present to you the most badass Google Chrome plugin ever developed called Make America Kittens Again. That's right, Make America Kittens Again, M-A-K-A. Well, okay, maybe you block Origin and Privacy Badger, maybe more important since they are for privacy, but nonetheless, this one is a must-have if seeing the faces of those who falsely imagine themselves to be our rulers infuriates you. This plugin was developed by Tom Royal, and even better, it is open source. So you can also add your own kitten images if you so desire. Or if you're a dog person, fuck you, then you can upload pictures of dogs. There's just so much potential. Cute! Super cute! Additionally, the way this plugin works is not via face recognition. Rather, it goes by the name of the file. So if the file name is Donald Trump fucks an elephant, it knows to put an adorable picture of kittens there, even though you'd probably want to see that. Sorry guys, the crypto wars are ongoing and some solutions aren't as clear cut. <laughs> So this necessarily entails that she could slightly edit the code to include a whole slew of individuals, as Mr. Royal has done for Mike Pence, Nigel Farage, Marine Le Pen, and Geert Wilders. As an aside, who the fuck are those last three? The options are literally endless. <laughs> Thanks so much for being a subscriber on Patreon. I certainly hope you, ho <laughs> I certainly hope you enjoyed the short rant. If you have ideas for future exclusives, please let me know, as my success does depend upon market feedback. Laissez-faire. Well,